Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. As I promised, we're gonna do some stretches today. We're gonna focus on full body. We'll do a 15 minute stretch. Just loosen you up after all those seven days of hard work. All right. So the first one, we're gonna start. You can do it standing or you can do it seated. You're gonna bring your hands overhead, close them. We're gonna do a side bend. Just gonna lean to your to your side and hold it for 10 seconds. Gonna open up this side right here. Make sure you're not twisting forward. That way you're not gonna feel it as much. Slowly return to the side, to the center, and go to the opposite side. Making sure you're staying straight, feeling it right here. Your lat. Five, four, three, two, one. Return. Excellent. Bring your arm in front of you. Wrap your elbow. Push it in. Make sure you're not shrugging. Drop it down. Push it in. Hold it in for 15 seconds. You're going to feel your tricep stretching as well as your shoulder deltoids and switch slowly hold it for 10 more seconds Leila where are you and Turn, shake it off, move it around, get the movement, get some blood flow. Let's do five rotations backwards. And five forward. All right, next one is called the WY. You're gonna bring your hands overhead. You're gonna bring your L. Elbows all the way down, create the letter W, squeeze your shoulder blades for a second, and return up. Do not shrug, just keep it in place. Let me show you from the back. Elbows, hello. Elbows go in, squeeze it for a full second, return. Gonna go for ten repetitions. Six. Seven. Eight. Great job. The next one is great for your neck, your shoulders. Gonna bring one of your hands behind your back. Make sure you're not dragging your shoulder, keep it down. The other hand goes on top of your head and you're gonna gently press your head to your shoulder. Gonna hold it for 15 seconds. This one goes straight to the right. The one I'm doing. Five, four, three, two, one. Big stretch right here in the side of your neck, in your levator scapula. Switch your side, hand back on top, gently press it down. Oh, that feels good. Oh. If it hurts too much, do not push up too much, a lot. Find a safe spot and resistance that doesn't hurt you too much, but at the same time stretch right here. Oh. 
five, four, three, two, one. Return. Again, we're gonna go back. This time, you're gonna press your head at the 45 degree angle. So 90, zero, right in the middle, right here. Working, opening up the back of your neck. All for 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch, hand back, grab your head, 45 degree angle, going this way, and go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, all here. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, return. Shake your hands. Let's go. Do a few shrugs. Go up, down, up, down. Reset your posture. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Good. So for the next one, I want you to get a chair or you can do it on the bed, something that gives you elevation. So you're gonna bring your, put your hands on top of the bed. I'm gonna do it on top of the bed. Put your hands on top of the bed and press your head down, push your shoulders down from here. So you're gonna feel a big stretch in your lats right here. You're gonna feel your shoulders opening up a lot and your chest muscles if, they, if your chest is tight. And another thing on this one, I don't want you to arch your back and lose that engagement. You're gonna lose that stretch here if you do that arch back. So instead, engage it, keep it flat, and press your palms down. Press them down. Push your head through. We're gonna hold here for 30 seconds. Calm down, relax. Keep breathing. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly return. And from here, we're gonna finish the upper body with a with this stretch, oh, with the Sphinx. Just sit here for 30 seconds. You can have your tea. I'm drinking green tea today with a, a rose petals. Stretching the spine. Ten more seconds. You can move side to side. Good. And get on your four. From here, we're gonna go in a cat cow movement. Gonna arch your back. Then you're gonna drop your pelvis down. Arch. And high break stand, drop your hips down. I'm gonna show you from the side. Up. Down. Head goes down. Head goes up. Head down, head up. A few 
you more. In the final exhale, you can move your shoulders around side to side. Great. So there was some upper body stretch. So moving on to the lower body. So we're gonna start uh, just like the last time with the bottom of a squat hold. So for this one, right? If you capable of doing this, that's great. Just stay there while maintaining your upper body as vertical as possible. Right? And you can push your knees out with your elbows. Pushing your pelvis forward as much as possible. So that's the ideal situation, right? And for those who don't have that flexibility, whether it's your ankle, your hip, you're gonna grab a chair or the back of your couch, you're gonna support yourself. So get into that vertical position and stay here 30 more seconds. Even if you can get that low, if you're stuck right here, just stay there. Do whatever you can, and then come up. Shake your legs, go down again. Ideally, you wanna go all the way down, create that range of motion. Thank you. So from here now, Let's start moving side to side. Putting more stress on your on your ankles, mobilizing them, activating them. Let's get them loose. And now I want you to drop your hands down in front of you and lean forward. You're gonna hit your inner thighs even more. Stay here for 20 seconds. I'm not asking you to go on your hands, just lean on them. That's all it is. It's doable. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Return. So now we can move down on the floor on your back. Okay. This is the sit up position. Now you're gonna bring your leg, bring your foot over your knee. Get the opposite elbow, stick it into your knee and push it inside. So you're gonna feel in your butt in your glute right here. Oh. We did so many lunges, so many glute bridges. I feel it. I'm really sore. Are you guys sore? And just look to that side. Getting that twist in your spine. I'm gonna go for 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, switch your side. Cross your legs. Knee to your elbow. Push it with your, with your elbow. Look to the opposite side. Getting that twist in your spine. Well, hello. Someone decided to show up. Yeah, you want to do some down dogs, Lila? Show some movements. Five, four, three, two, one. Turn. Next one. It's a figure four. Whoa. 
Yeah, okay. Hello. Gonna put your leg on top of your knee from here, from this bad position, and you're gonna lean forward. Gonna open up that hip right here. Oh yeah, feels good. Just stay here. Good. Stay for 15 more seconds. Aww, brought me a gift. Five, four, three, two, one. So from here guys, do not leave this position. I want you to go all the way down. I want you to grab your leg with both hands and push it in. I mean, pull it in. Hold it for 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's switch your side. Okay, figure four. Just hang in here, 20 seconds. Hang in with Lila, yeah. around your leg and push pull it in you're gonna feel it even more right here that's what we're working on that's what we're opening up this is your sitting muscle ten seconds Four, three, two, one. Good. Great stuff. All right, the next one. The hip flexors and hamstrings at the same time. All right. Get in a large position. You're gonna push your knee forward past your toes, back foot is flat, from here, you're gonna lean forward and hold for 15 seconds, go, pushing your hips down, as much down as you can, five, four, three, two, one, watch, next, you're gonna sit back, Lean back and sit back. You're gonna work on this hamstring right here. So you can support yourself or just put your hands down. And go from here. You're gonna press down through your heel while keeping the legs leg flat. Press and hold, 15 seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one. I'm gonna do one more time. Lean forward, 15 second hold over here. And pushing your hip down. Push it. And breathe. Five, four, three, two, Sit back, work your knee, come straight. Layla, sit. 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 Good girl. Good girl. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch your side. 
lean forward, hold for 15. Flat toes, knee over your toes. Pushing the hip down. Move it. Move it. Five, four, three, two, one. Go back. Keep your back flat. Keep your posture. And you're gonna push down through your heel and sink forward. Oh yeah. All right here, from your knee, from the back of your knee, all the way up to your to your butt. That's where you're gonna feel it. Mostly in this area, right here, right under your kneecap. Five, four, three, two, one. Go forward. Ten seconds. Make sure you straight. Your hips are square. Do not go like this. Five, four, three, two, one, and sit it back. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Good, Lila. And the final stretch, that's what we're gonna finish every stretch session with. I'm gonna stand up. On this one, remember like last time, you're gonna start from your head, and drop your chin down, and around your shoulders, then you're gonna round your upper spine, mid spine, lower spine, until you reach the floor or whatever distance you can. Go as low as you can and hang out there for five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Start coming up slowly, starting from your lower back, then mid back, chin stays down, then upper back, open up your shoulders, raise your head up. So we'll do two more times together. Ready? Chin down, shoulders, mid spine, lower spine, all the way down. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. On the count of five, coming up. One, two, three, four, five. Deep inhale. And on the exhale, we're gonna go down. Four, three, two, one. Stop and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. And start coming up. One, two, three, four, five. Big inhale. And then exhale. That's it guys, that was it. So, I hope you feel better. If, if it was not enough, just repeat, just add another set to every stretch. Go for a little bit longer, an extra 10 seconds to loosen it up more. But if we do this every day, well, that would be ideal. Every other day, three, four times a week, that would be enough. You're not gonna feel stiff, uh, especially when you work. 10 plus hours at the desk.